talk infusers. All right, let's talk infusers. My son, Rye, my youngest son, gave me this infuser um, a couple of years ago. It's a pretty cool deal. It's got a, um, it is a cool. bottom that, that unscrews, comes out, it's got teeth, metal teeth there, metal teeth in here. Um, it's got like a, one of those for Christmas. a tube that, um, that, that, that has this top to it. You want one of these for Christmas? Yeah, it'd be oh, nice. No, I'll let him know. Um, anyway, you put you put stuff, and it can be you know citrusy stuff, berries, uh, watermelon. It could be savory stuff like peppers or um, garlic, even I guess. You know, in in this bottom garlic. Yeah, eh, they say garlic. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. Anyway, you put it in here. Twist it around, grind it all up, screw it onto the bottom of this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Load it up with vodka. Hang on. Ah. <laughs> I'm making me a cocktail. Yeah. Oh, I fumble finger. Anyway, you load it up full of vodka. Screw the top on. Give it a shake. It says let it steep for four hours. Could steep longer, I'm sure, and anyway. Yeah, yeah, because I did, uh, you know, I did five days on the raspberry in mine and tasted it, and it just wasn't enough. Yeah. So I put new raspberries. Did you crush your raspberries? You didn't use this. I cru no, I didn't use that. But, I mean, I crushed them at the end of the time, and it still didn't work. Uh -huh. So I crunched them up the next time, and... It's a little better, but I think you're still going to have to add lime to it or something. Hmm. This has got a very fine mesh screen on the top here, so it's supposed to sort of uh, corral any uh, in, you know big pieces that get into your uh, into your infusion. However, mine I did some lime stuff. Uh, you know, it settles after a while. There's some some stuff down at the bottom. I don't have a problem with that. Gradu at the bottom and. Uh, Anyway, I just shake it up, pour it over ice, it's hip. So, what do you got there? Well, I've been making a cosmopolitan, getting in touch with my feminine self. Well, for crying out loud. Well, you just Fifty don't make... Shades of Grey. Uh, I'm just saying, they're advertising on it. Yeah, what I mixed is some triple sec, a little bit of cranberry juice, and you taught me about cranberry juice. I was just pretty much a tonic and lime guy until you showed me that cranberry juice was a nice I thing. do like fruit in my vodka. And then squeeze a big old lime in it. Mm, mm. And this is a cosmopolitan. Now it's supposed to be, well they got a million different ways that they make that stuff, but what I do is two parts vodka, one part um, cranberry juice, one part triple sec, triple sec Cointreau. Yeah, if Cointreau, you, yeah. I yeah. noticed you went for the high spread. Well, I know. I mean, it was old French stuff. <laughs> and then I squeezed in a little bit of lime, half a lime. Mm. I, there's nothing wrong with that. All right. You be the judge of that. There ain't nothing wrong with that. No, there you go. You know, I mean, it's a Cosmo, but... Uh, I'll drink it's it. not the magazine, but I'll I'll drink pretty yeah, much. Yeah, well, I mean, you saw that there were no tools used in the making of this drink. <laughs> there were no tools. I got a shaker over uh, here. No, I got a strainer. No, no. You know, I've seen recipes. Fingers and there yeah, you go. I've seen recipes where you shake it up and strain it, and it's neat. That's over stuff we do at home. Glass. That's not stuff we do in a, in a hotel Holiday or... Inn Select somewhere that's in Bastrop. Yeah, you know? That's right. That's a fact. That's a fact. All right, well, that's, uh, that's a good show, Sparky. Yeah, it wasn't bad. Yeah, uh, much better than the last one. Yeah, uh, yeah, we were yeah. a little tense on that one. First one, we, I, should, we really need to learn to drink, drink before, before we, we shoot. Do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's exactly. Much better. Exactly. So, anyway, that's it for now. Uh, next episode will come from a bar in Yeah, Dallas. we gotta go somewhere else because this is really disruptive to my office. We think we've got a pretty good deal lined up and. Uh, We'll let you know. But and we'll be looking for that 12. We'll still be the looking Lone for Star. the answer on the Lone Star. Anyway, you need to get in touch with us. Uh, info at 
drinkintexas.com, D-R-I-N-K-I-N-T-E-X-A-S.com, or our website, www.drinkintexas.com. Yeah, we put the little apostrophe after drinking because we're from Texas and we, we never don't use a lot of G's. No, there's mm -hmm. not a lot of G's used. Mm -hmm. Except, Except for G-Boy. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right. See ya. Cheers. Yeah, you're out.